Well, we're back on Devil's Lake for this week's show. And you know, for years, we've had so many neat, short-lived patterns on Devil's Lake where we're fishing these flooded cattails. And we've had, you know, trolling bites over the Minnewauk and Flats, for example, where we'd be pulling crankbaits 20 feet down over cattails. You know, the unfortunate aspect of these cattail patterns, they don't last that long. And they've got a lifespan where you might only get maybe three or four years out of these spots because these, these cattails will hold fish as long as they're standing and they're standing tall. Once these cattails break down, these waypoints, these spots will be will be meaningless, but in the meantime, they sure do hold some really nice fish. How's it going, buddy? Not too bad. Beautiful day to catch some walleyes, huh? She sure is, really got nice. The guy can't beat this weather for the first part of January. Just talking on the, on the introduction of this show, all the cattail patterns that we've seen over the years as far as on the Minnewauk and flats. You know, and these spots just aren't summer spots. You know, if you can find these spots and fish them through the ice, you know, they'll hold fish too. But they, for whatever reason, big walleyes in particular just love these cattail spots. It just, over the years, we've just seen that over and over and over again, where if you can find cattails that are standing tall with, you know, seven, eight, nine feet of water or more over the top of them, they're almost always gonna hold big walleyes. Yeah, you're right on that, Jason. Uh, it's Cattails and big walleye seem to go to hand to hand on Devil's Lake for sure. If you got a little break in there with some rocks, uh, those are the ones you need to be looking for. One nice feature when you're fishing along the weed edges as we're doing today is on the Vexilars, you can go to what they have as a weed mode. What you need to do is turn your mode, make sure it's on that end, and then turn your power button off go to the top and push your gain button in and then turn the power button back on and it'll show up on the screen weed mode so that shows you that the change has been made it just makes it a lot easier fishing in the weeds without having all that clutter and uh, you're able to do that uh, with the new Vexilar FL 28s when you switch it over to the weed mode wow that fish just came in and slammed it that's a pretty good fish too that transducer out of the way. You got a good fish there, Rick? Yeah, it feels like a pretty good fish, Jason. Get them started up here. There's a good weed walleye. Got a few cattails with it. Real nice fish. Just come in and just hammered that clam bleed spoon. Another key when you're fishing in the weed edges is something that rattles. And this clam blade spoon with the rattles in the back of it, you can sit there and pound it, get the rattles, and call them into you. Okay, let's let this one go back. Here we go, here we go. Got one down there. There he is, there he is. Boy, they just go berserk when you put that hook into them. Oh, come on, show yourself. I'm gonna let you go. Get them coming up that hole. You wanna come in, there we go. Look at there. There, another great walleye. Get that fish unhooked here. And... Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. If there's one place that probably doesn't get enough attention, it's Devil's Lake because Perch made this lake famous, but I tell you what, the walleyes, I mean, it's, it's truly is some of the best ice fishing you're gonna find. There we go. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. They do not like coming up that hole. Oh yeah, big walleye, big walleye. Whoa, come on. There, 
Look at that. That is a devil's lake walleye right there. Isn't that a gorgeous fish? That was just a great fish, just a chunk of a fish. Just using the same spoon, just that clam rattling blade spoon and, and just fishing aggressively. Just keep that lure knocking, engage those BBs in that rattle chamber. And these walleyes up here, they just love that. I think a lot of times people underestimate walleyes as a predator. I mean, the way they hit, you'd swear it was a pike. And that makes it fun. I mean, that's why we're out here is to have fun. And these type of bites, about as good as it gets, in my opinion. There he is. There. You gonna wrestle up the hole here. Come on up here. Oh yeah, nice walleye, look at that. Yeah, they're just beautiful fish. And you see how well they're eating in here. I mean, these fish are just solid, solid fish. Look at this fish unhooked here. She just love how fat these fish are. All these fish do here is eat. Yeah, just a great walleye. Oh, chunky fish. Okay, with these type of locations, you know, we're fishing these edges. They're not necessarily very big, and so, Basically, the fishing, it's very precise, very surgical in the sense that you're drilling holes right along the edge. And you, and you have to have a little bit of patience. You have to fish these spots kind of methodically because you can't run and gun through them. And so you have to pick your key spots, your inside turns, your outside little fingers that come off and sit on those spots and wait for these fish to push through. And so you'll see these fish are just like they run up and down this break and you just have to be on a contact spot where you encounter fish when they move through. And so we're just trying to sit on those key locations and you know when these fish run through here we encounter them and we're just sitting on these spots and jigging pretty aggressively just trying to pull them in. They're marking one there now. There he is. You like too bad of a fish. Got a good one, Rick? Well. There we go. Sun gets lower, the bite picks up. We're dealing with real clear water here. It's like nine, 10 feet deep and you can see the bottom. So the, the next half hour here is usually prime time when the sun gets setting in the west. That's when it's gonna be the best, I guess. Get her back down and try to get another one. There he is, there. He's like a good fish, yeah. Oh yeah, look at here. Look at there, look at that. Look at that fatty. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, they're just growling here. But yeah, it's just cool. The sun's setting, just kind of that perfect time. Yeah, that's the lure right there. That's that new clam rattling blade spoon. Just a deadly, deadly lure. But you can see that Pyrex glass, just a really loud rattle chamber. Really trips a trigger fish just like that. Yeah, very cool, love that. Boy, these fish are just fat.